this video i am going to discuss about the test of significance for large samples that is very important here i am going to discuss for the test of significance In the last class i had discussed how to do the test of significance confidence interval two tail test single tail test as well as confidence interval also we had discussed like that here test of significance for large samples in this again i am going to discuss how to what is the procedure to follow the testing of hypothesis testing of procedure for testing of hypothesis and a simple one example i will solve here that is very important and please subscribe my channel and give the comments so that i can improve my next videos okay and one more thing important thing in my description below i have given the playlist links that you can find out directly as well as uh time stamps also i am giving in description what i have solved the time stamps are given if you click on that time stamp then directly whatever you want in that particular video that will be will go to the directly that the video okay now let me come to the my topic here the sample with size greater than 30 okay if the size of the sample is more than 30 such samples are known as large samples and the test based on large samples are called large sample tests for large samples we use the statistic are normally distributed whenever we are testing the for large samples that is a normally distributed normal distributions We are considering, okay? There are continuous only. That is large distribution. So we are considering, okay? That is not nothing but normal distributed. Therefore, using that normal distribution, the test statistic Z is given by T minus E of T divided by S E of T. What is that T? T is an observed statistic. That is a sample. It may be sample mean. sample anything whatever it may be it is considered to sample that's why i am using here statistic statistic means the constants of samples are called as a samples as a statistics and e of t is a expected statistic or expected parameter also i can say here expected parameter parameter means what it is related to population okay related to population e of t is related to population here in i can say it as a population mean and s e of t is a what a standard error standard error of statistic means standard error means standard deviation of a sample standard deviation of a sample i have to take okay now this is a i have to remember for each and every procedure to test of hypothesis testing of hypothesis what are the steps we have to follow here important so that you will not uh, the all your uh, problems will be uniform to solve okay right. first what you have to do set up the null hypothesis h not null hypothesis in the class class i have defined uh, what is that null hypothesis okay null hypothesis means here the our initial assumption is known as our null hypothesis alternate hypothesis is nothing but other than the null hypothesis is nothing but your alternate hypothesis it is denoted by h1 then compute the test statistic according to the given under h0 then compare this calculated value of Z with Z alpha. What is that Z alpha? Z alpha is the thing about the critical value at alpha level of significance. Alpha is the thing about the five percent level of significance. One percent usually you are taking. That is one point nine six for five percent level. Two point five eight for one percent level. Like that. 
1.64 for right tail test minus 1.64 for left tail test as well as 2.33 for 5% and 1% level of for right percent uh, 1% like that we discussed okay I have given the table also okay uh, that table you can compare okay just let me give that show you what is the table this table is nothing but for the critical value of z for 5% or 1% two tail test right tail test these are the critical values okay let me just again come here second next next step is what writing the conclusion after finding that test statistic and comparing with the table values are nothing but critical values then conclusion that is important how you are going to conclude your problem if it is for a two tailed test and modulus of z is less than or equal to that critical value if it is less than that critical value then h naught is accepted okay just modulus of z is less than or equal to z alpha modulus of z alpha then h naught is accepted that is null hypothesis whatever uh, uh, stated that should be accepted and if modulus of z is greater than modulus of z alpha then it is rejected for it is a two tail test usually we are using the for two tail test only okay this one then right tail test for right tail test if z is less than or equal to z alpha then it is accepted if z is greater than z alpha then it is rejected okay like this for for left tail test if z is greater than or equal to minus z alpha here less than we are choosing but whereas for left it is it should be greater than then we are accepting that is important for left tail test z should be greater than minus z alpha then h naught is accepted if z is less than minus z alpha then it is rejected okay under this large samples there are a total of four type of tests are there okay first one is a test of significance for a single mean test of significance for a single mean or simple mean next test of significance for a difference of means test of significance for a single proportion test of significance for difference of proportion just in brief i will explain all these things test of for single mean means the single mean of the sample and the population we are comparing in, in this single mean whereas in the test of significance for difference of means for two samples statistics uh, sorry statistic means mean the two samples differences we are comparing in difference of mean whereas in proportion single proportion the ratio between uh, ratio between what you can say uh, sample sample and the uh, population we are comparing that is known as a single proportion difference of proportion means the ratio of <coughs> the ratio of between the uh, the statistics two samples statistics we are con comparing but here i am going to discuss only for a first one single mean okay next test of significance for single mean here in this test we test the significant difference between the sample mean x bar and the population mean mu okay we are comparing just now told single mean x bar and population mean x bar the difference between those two are checking just under the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference between x bar and mu bar there is no significant difference between x bar and mu bar by considering that we are doing therefore test statistic z is given by x bar minus mu divided by sigma divided by root n this is the standard deviation of a sorry sigma is the standard deviation of population therefore sigma divided by root n will give you standard deviation of sample with replacement without replacement in that we have discussed this there it is sigma divided by root n is given by standard deviation of a sample
Okay, this formula I have to remember. If standard deviation of population is not given, then we are using the standard deviation. That is also one and the same. Therefore, for a two-tailed test, for a two-tailed test, test statistic is used with the modulus sign. Both sides will to test. Using this, uh, I am going to explain. Okay, using this uh, status, uh, test statistic, I have to find the confidence limit. How to find out that confidence limit here? Okay. Confidence interval definition, confidence limit definition, I have explained in the previous. Okay. And how to find out that also I discussed. But once again, I am giving the formula how to find out the confidence interval here. Okay. For that, please go to my previous videos and just check that. Okay. Next, x bar minus z alpha into sigma divided by square root of n less or equal to m. Sorry, mu. This mu is nothing but mean of population is less than or equal to x bar plus z alpha into sigma divided by root n. This will give you our confidence interval for z alpha is equal to 1.96 for 5% level, say level of significance or 95% of confidence and z alpha is equal to 2.58 for 1% level of significance or 99% of confidence. Using this one simple example and then next two videos onwards only examples i'm going to solve here okay here the problem simple problem is selected direct problem also a normal population a population is normally distributed like that it is okay that means large samples that's why it is a normal population has a mean of 6.8 and standard deviation of 1.5 a sample of 400 members gave a mean of 6.75 is the difference is significant what difference difference mean difference of means is significant or not we have to check with how, what percentage is significant to work check. Okay. Right. Let me write the notations. Given first. Given population parameters. Population parameters. Population parameters. Uh, uh, what is mean? Mu is equal to the given 6.8. And standard deviation sigma equal to 1.5 they are given. Like that. Uh, statistic population uh, sorry sample statistics sample statistics what they are given is x bar they are given mean of the sample they are given that is a 6.75 and size of the sample they are given size of the sample is a 400 which is greater than 30 therefore it is a large sample okay now procedure will follow Null hypothesis first. I have to write null hypothesis. Okay. Null hypothesis that is H naught. H naught. Okay. What I have to write H naught here? I am checking the difference of means. I will consider, I will assume that there is no significant difference between the there is no significant difference between means of there is no significant difference between the means of population and population and sample okay that is nothing but x bar is equal to mu correct but alternate hypothesis H1, what I have to take? Alternate hypothesis H0 is nothing but there is a significant difference. That means X bar is not equal to mu I am considering. That is my alternate hypothesis. 
then in the next step of procedure to solve these things i have to solve for test statistic test statistic z is equal to z is equal to x bar minus mu and it is one more thing not equal to is there therefore it is a two tailed test correct two tailed test for a two tailed test modulus i will take sigma divided by root n so should the values and simplify <coughs> that is x bar is 6.75 minus mu is 6.8 divided by uh, standard deviation is 1.5 divided by square root of 400 use the calculator and simplify this it comes out to be it comes out to be 1 point sorry minus point 0.64 or just z is equal to 0.64 which is this one i have to compare with the critical values okay my critical values are which is less than 1 point uh, z alpha or 0.05 that is 1.96 as well as which is again less than z of 0 0.01 critical values for 2.58 correct 0.64 is less than both 1.96 as well as 1.58 therefore conclusion where it lies okay just with the figure i will just show you here okay this is here uh, let me take this one as a minus 1.96 this is plus 1.96 for 5 percent level this is my 2.5 percent and this is also 2.5 percent this is a rejection region acceptance region is this one correct therefore z value is somewhere here it is z is 0 0.64 up to point minus point six four. This region is where that z values lie. Okay. Therefore, that required value z value. This is a z alpha. Z alpha. Therefore, this region z alpha z is lying within this acceptance region. That's why we are accepting in the direct line material assure or by the conclusion also you can make. Hence, therefore. Therefore, conclusion I have to write. Therefore, we conclude that, therefore, we conclude that, conclude that there is no significant, no significant difference between means for both 5% and 1% okay this is my one simple problem what i have solved here in my next videos some more examples on this testing of significance for single mean I am going to solve it. So friends, please subscribe my channel.